Hey y'all, it's Lady C, and we are back today, Sunday, um, with a grocery haul. Um, we're getting together. You know, we had I have some leftover things from Thanksgiving, um, like you know, canned goods and things I'm going to use for different uh, things for Christmas. So we made a whole nother menu for Christmas. So I had to go to the grocery store and get together what I needed uh, for Christmas to make it work. Um, because we're going out of town for Christmas. So, uh, I'm just going to show y'all my little grocery haul that we did. Uh, and here we go. Um, we got sweet potatoes. We needed those. Those were like 99 cents a pound. How bad. And one thing we did get that does no relation to uh, Christmas. My hubby wanted the crab, uh, crab classic, the imitation crab meat. Uh, we saw Nate with his video um frying these up and they look so good hubby said he wanted to get some so we may be trying nate's recipe shout out to nate and be love um let's see what else we got um we like these little nor they're instead of them being like chicken bouillon or veg vegetable bouillon other companies make them we just picked these up because they were a pretty good price um but we like to use these um i don't think well yeah, I mean, they have just as much sodium. It's just, eh, if you want a little flavor, certain things, you use it. So we got these. Um, I love to add saison um, to make my yellow rice. Um, and you can add it to other things, too. Chicken, things like that. Um, so we keep this on deck. Um, today, I discovered, which I had never seen, so I had to get it. Um, Goya has... When that's in Spanish, Goya has, this is in English, Goya has the powdered chicken flavor bouillon cubes. Um, their sodium count is much lower. Um, the sodium count on these is 240 milligrams, which isn't great, but this is a lot better than other ones. So you might want to check out Goya's um, chicken bouillon cubes because they're a lot lower than sodium looks like. Um, so we got those because I use... Um, like, I'm trying to think. I use the bouillon cubes and things like that for, um, I don't know what I, you know, for different things I'm cooking uh, for Thanksgiving. I can't even think off the top of my head right now. I'm so tired. Um, I got a big, large can of cream of chicken soup. Um, I put this into my stuffing mixture. So I had to get that. Um, I got three bags of the large elbows i love the large elbows for my macaroni it just seems to hold a lot more cheese and everybody liked it at thanksgiving so um i went back and got the large elbows to use got three boxes um following on my mac and cheese give you guys an idea what i do um so they had sargento on sale this is the sliced cheese it's actually um, the, four the shredded cut. cheese you guys and it had um wisconsin sharp new york sharp california mild and Vermont Sharp, all mixed. So I said, I don't know why you go for my, um, for my uh, mac and cheese. So I'm gonna use this. Got two bags of that. I got some cream cheese. And I also use um, cheddar cheese soup. I don't like making a roux. So this is pretty thick, um, like a roux. So I take all my soft cheeses and I mix it with this. Um, so I buy this from Campbell's, cheddar cheese soup. Um, I've got my evaporated milk for my Mac, and I've got, I usually buy straight uh, Velveeta, but today they had on sale in a larger box, they had Lucerne, um, pasteurized prepared cheese product, it's just like the Velveeta, so I'm going to use this this time um, and see how it comes out, hopefully it's just as good as the Velveeta, um, but that's about all that I use in my Mac and cheese. Um, I got butter, of course. Got to put that in my mac and cheese. Um, I got some turkey gravy, the powder con, and um, brown gravy. These are like nine cents in a pack, and I use these. I usually take the drippings from the turkey and just uh, mix it up and make a gravy with these. Easy way. <clears throat> now I told you I use the cream of chicken soup for my um stuffing mixture i also have cornbread uh stuffing 
uh, toasted cornbread cubes that I use. Got two bags of that. And then I have some other sage seasoned um, bread cubes that I mix in with that. So I use the cream of chicken, the cornbread stuffing uh, mixture. Um, I use chicken broth. Um, I also buy Jimmy Dean uh, sage sausage. Um, this is the, cr you know, the crumble con. And I take this and I cook it up with celery and onion uh, in the pan and I put that into my stuffing. Um, I also got pineapple slices. These are for my ham, of course. I don't normally put the, ch uh, the cherries on it, but we're gonna try it this year. So I got cherries for that. Um, I usually take and glaze my ham with Sprite and brown sugar. Um, if you don't have the little packets, you guys, I just use brown sugar and Sprite and your ham will come out delicious. So. Um, I had to get some eggs. We eat a lot of eggs around here. Um, Got some heavy duty aluminum foil. And I think that's about it, you guys. And we picked up a ham. Spiral sliced ham um, at Safeway. Um, it was originally $29. We got it for $19. Um, it was like $1.99 a pound, which is pretty good. It looks like a pretty good looking ham. Um, and that's what we're going to do with that. So that's all I've got for today, you guys. This was my grocery haul pre-Christmas because we're going to grub again. Um, you saw my ham. We also have a small turkey. Um, we're going to visit my father-in-law. So um, actually, I'm sorry, the ham that we bought is for New Year's. And my father-in-law lives in North Carolina, so he already has purchased a nice North Carolina ham. Um, we're going to take a small turkey down there to him and cook up everything else. So that's all I've got for today, um, you guys. Also, here is my chicken for today. I'm going to show you guys Sunday dinner. Um, I will be doing a little, maybe a slight mukbang later. But these are my frozen chicken legs. I'm um, going to defrost these and let them marinate for a bit. And then we're going to make some barbecue chicken for dinner. So um, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are having a great day. Love you. All right, y'all. I forgot to include um, my haul because after we went to the grocery store, I then had to go pick up some hair products. Um, I went to a Beauty Max. It was like a, I guess, a, I don't want to call them an oriental hair store. They also had a wig store attached to it. Um, and I was really interested. I've been hearing a lot of good things about Cantu. Um, so I got some of this Cantu Shea Butter Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo. Um, <clears throat> I have a, get a lot of buildup on my hair, so I got Cantu Shea Butter um, Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse with Tea Tree Oil. Someone told me this is really, really good. <clears throat> so I got this. You use this um, before, I think you wash your hair to get some of the nasty, crappy stuff out of your hair. Um... I got some Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream because uh, my hair needs all the repair it can get. Um, because I am gray and I, I don't want to wear wigs all the time, um, I bought some, let's see, Biggin Easy Color. Um, seems pretty easy. I think you just take it out, mix it, and comb it through your hair. So I'm going to try this. Um, because I'm tired of going to the hairdressers and spending like a hundred or more dollars to get my hair colored. Uh, so we're gonna try this. Um, it also has, let's see. Uh, also has no ammonia, low peroxide. So this might be pretty good. Um, also got some Cantu Shea Butter Complete Conditioning um, Co-Wash. Thought that would be pretty good too. Uh, for my wigs, I got some control wig. It was only like two dollars, so whatever. And my husband, I'll tell you guys, he swears by this. If we could get an endorsement, if if y'all are watching, we need an endorsement. Um, he got he started using it. Then he has my daughters using it. Um, it's Elasta QP, the glaze. Oh, he loves this. So we've been he's been using this for years. Um, and this is really really good for your edges for women. Um, and also, you know, lay your hair down the edges for women. But my husband, he has like curly hair anyway, but he used it 
and just puts it in his hair and it makes it with his hair real shiny um, and makes it really really look good so he uses this um, here they had some little scarfs um, I try to do I'm trying to start doing different things to my hair so here was one scarf that I purchased um, they called it a multi scarf um, also got me a little turban turban uh, just something doing trying to do different things in my hair um, Here's another thing like multi scarf that I got. I thought that was really pretty. They were only a dollar ninety nine. And then this was another multi scarf scarf I got. Um, only a dollar ninety nine, so I was happy with that. So that was my hair haul, you guys. Um, so I should be set for the next uh, month or so with all my stuff for my hair. Okay, signing out. Bye bye.